Yes, that's it. Good job. Oh, sorry, hello folks all over the world, how are you? I was playing my favorite video game, Plants vs Zombies 2045, that a time traveler sent me, when the bell of a new email distracted me, so I went to read who it was. Ah okay, it was in the spam, says Hey Areta, have you seen the latest videos of El Chico del Futuro? He went to the USA, to visit Bruce Lee's grave. Bruce Lee's grave? What? Welcome back to a new episode dedicated to the investigation on the TikTok channel El Chico del Futuro. Before we start we want to point out that we are followers of this TikTok channel and we love Alex for his entertainment content. This format, however, is cynical, it deals with investigating what is real and what is not. As we saw in the previous episode, owner Alex Marufo was trapped in 2045 between Mexican museum mummies mistaken for zombie guinea pigs and the Mexican wall that would now defend all of humanity left. Alex also pointed out that he owns a Boeing 737, it is actually a 727, and when users commented, how do you get it out of the forest, Alex replied that it was retrofitted with a future vertical takeoff engine. In this video Alex begins by saying that he is in a hospital in China, exactly in the hospital where there was the first case of zombies in the history of humanity. Then he says that he is in that place looking for a device that allows him to move into different dimensions and parallel universes. And therefore also different eras and different years. Will it be a time machine? It's only my suppose. Alex didn't specify it. And even before he have found it, he greets his followers by asking them to write in which era they want him to move also to Instagram. So, let's start by analyzing this video. The first comments of the followers are immediately evident, why is there no blood on the ground or on the walls, it's not the apocalypse of the zombies. It's cleaner than my house. How do you get electricity? How do you get the internet? And so on. Even the billboard in the distance has writings that are not in the Chinese alphabet, no sign of scenography. Even the poster on the wall does not have a Chinese alphabet, although the writings are not legible at least the classical forms of the Chinese writing are not there. Finally the medical bed that you see at the end, and a hill ROM 1000, with atmosphere mattress, usually these two combined supplies are sold or rented by a company based in the USA and guess what? That's right, in Mexico. Clear evidence that we are probably still in 2021, in the same place, namely Guanajuato in Mexico, and what we see is a small, temporarily unmanned area of a large hospital, as seen at the end of the video. In this video Alex replies to a comment from a girl who says, I believe you if you walk into a cemetery or a hotel. Alex shows a small piece of land with graves and says that they are zombies that he created himself with his own hands. Here we go again. Alex told yet another lie. What we see in this video is the museum of the Santa Inquisition y ex Hacienda de e Cacheros, a museum hidden under the gardens of Guanajuato, Mexico. Guys first of all you have to understand that a 10 or 14 second video on TikTok proves nothing. How many times in our life have we been alone somewhere for 10 seconds? In 10 seconds, you can do everything, we want to try? Okay, let's do a video now. Hello folks of the past, we are in 2045 and I am with my Indian surviving friends. We found a zombie mermaid, it is harmless, because in 2030 we discovered that mermaids suffer from celiac disease so the meat must be cooked, otherwise they do not eat it. On August 13, 2021 many people were on summer holidays, probably also Alex's family, in fact we find him in Washington DC, USA, where he says he landed with his private plane and has to meet on the top floor of the Columbia Center with another time traveler, came from a parallel universe that has an important message for him. Alex also hopes that once he gets to the top floor there are no zombies. Obviously no details on how they felt before, probably via TikTok. Who knows? We see him go away on a rented scooter. In the video there is a totally clean 5th Avenue, neat flowers and hedges, well-parked cars, nothing is out of place. It makes us smile that Alex instead of driving the first car he finds around, comes in an electric scooter. Also note the moment when, having arrived in front of the entrance to the building, he avoids framing the entrance, which will surely have been full of employees, cashiers at the ticket office, security officers, tourists and so on. And in the next video we see Alex who goes to the top floor of the building but finds two zombies, then runs away. Finally two shirtless friends give him a hand for this scene, this is a good thing, a noble gesture. Congratulations guys, a friend should always be helped. In the previous video on El Chico del Futuro Investigation Part 1 there was a scene with zombies probably taken from the video game The Last of Us 2. 
The music that Alex chose for this video is taken from that video game, demonstration that perhaps, we had got it right. In this video Alex reads a comment from a follower who says, I believe you if you go to visit Bruce Lee's grave. Coincidences that he was in Washington? Alex replies, I was just preparing my plane to go there, so the gesture of recognition towards the visit to the tomb will feed my soul, hoping not to meet any zombies, and then he leaves us with a phrase from Bruce Lee, remember friends, that the key to immortality is to live a life worth remembering. In the video, we see the usual scrap plane abandoned in the forest. Please don't be mad Mr. Bruce Lee, if they bothered you, Alex claims there are zombies. And finally Alex arrives at Bruce Lee's grave, luckily safe and sound, in fact he says he only met vegan zombies. For those who missed the previous episode of the investigation, Alex explained that there are two types of zombies, carnivores and vegans. Get brain eaters out of your head, they eat cauliflower at most. Alex in front of Bruce's grave, promises all humanity to bring the cure against zombies to the past. In the video we see a view of a perfectly intact and clean Seattle, clean shop windows, some rubbish, who produced it? And the graves with very fresh flowers, two fresh oranges, perfectly clean graves. And have you seen the vegan zombies? No? I'll help you, here they are crossing the street in the pedestrian crossing. In this video Alex reads a comment from a follower, I believe you if you enter a brewery, buy a pack of 24 bottles of Takati and send it to me to 2021. While shooting the video Alex says that he carried out a carbon-14 test to determine that the brewery dates back to 2035. Analyzing the video, you immediately notice how the place is neat and clean, without dust, therefore it is impossible to believe Alex. The carbon-14 test story also has no evidence, it's just a tale. What we tried to do and slow down the video while zooming in on some beers, to try to possibly read something concerning the expiration date of the products. But the quality of TikTok's videos and the speed at which this video was shot gives us no visual evidence. However Alex preferred not to show any labels, also because obviously they are all products probably bottled this 2021. In this other video Alex replies to another follower who writes, I believe you if you walk into a supermarket. In the video Alex walking through the shelves of a Walmart that claims it is an abandoned supermarket and is thinking of stocking up on food, medicine, water and some beer to pass the time. Then he says he has seriously thought about closing the entrances and turning the Walmart into his home since there are so many supplies, so he asks his followers, do you think it's a good idea to convert this place into my house, or do you think I'm taking a lot of risks with the looting zombies? But let's start with this last statement, looting zombies. So as Alex would say, there are looting zombies. So why is everything always clean? How come the goods are in order and the supermarket is full if it is an abandoned place? Why isn't there a trace of dust? We know the answer. In the video, Alex avoids areas such as the checkout counters or the salami counter which are usually crowded places, and chooses a path that at that precise moment was without people. It typically happens during siesta times. Among the comments of the followers I liked the one of a user who says, is it possible that in 30 years a logo, a name of a product, the shape of the packaging has not changed? Dear friends, the second episode on the investigation of the TikTok channel El Chico del Futuro ends here. Thank you all for watching this video and for your support. We are following the updates of many viral users on various social networks so subscribe to the channel if you haven't already did it, and press the bell because there will be updates soon. I greet you and. Remember, we live in a logical and mathematically ordered universe, don't believe everything, ask, analyze and you will solve.